Mr. Tally Man, tally me banana. Daylight come and me wanna go home. Hey, hey, it's showtime, folks. Today we're cooking up something spooky and delicious from the Nightmare Before Dinner Recipes to Die For, the Beetle House Cookbook. That's right. It's the Dietz Shrimp Cocktail. Let's get started before someone says my name three times and I disappear. <laughs> Here's what we need for this deadly delight. Uh, water, sweetened coconut cream, salt, lime juice, and some fresh jumbo shrimp. I need to break in here a moment and take us on a coconut tangent. Our supernatural friend can just conjure up whatever he needs, but us mortals actually have to source our ingredients. This recipe calls for sweetened coconut cream. And as far as I can tell, that is not actually a thing. You can't buy it anywhere, and the internet wasn't any help whatsoever. I don't think it's a regionalism either, like the Brits calling cookies biscuits. The book was written in the United States, and both restaurant locations are in the US. So who knows? I just had to make some guesses. So there's five different coconut liquids that you can buy. The first is coconut water, and that's literally just the water from inside a coconut, and we can rule that out. Next is coconut milk, which is grated coconut meat, blended with water, and then strained. It's most often used in savory dishes like rice and curries, and it's never sweet. Then we have coconut cream. This is the same as coconut milk, only processed with less water, so it has a higher fat concentration. It can solidify at room temperature. You can whip it up like a heavy dairy cream, and it's often used in desserts. However, it doesn't appear that you can buy that sweetened either. I don't think this is what the recipe wants. Next, confusingly, we have cream of coconut, and this is a sweetened coconut syrup, most closely associated with pina coladas, and it's often found in the drink section with other mixers. It's got coconut, sugar, usually a bunch of preservatives and stabilizers to give it a thick texture, but make it easy to blend into drinks. And then finally, we have sweetened condensed coconut milk, which is coconut milk and sugar cooked down to a really thick and kind of gooey consistency. And this is often used for baking and desserts. None of these things are ever called sweetened coconut cream, like it has in the book, and none of them seem like they belong in the cooking liquid for cocktail shrimp. But of the five, I'm gonna go with cream of coconut. It seems really weird to me, but the ingredients also seem like the closest thing to a sweetened coconut cream. In any case, the book could have used a better proofreader. And with that, I'm gonna turn the video back over to the dead guy. For the raspberry cocktail sauce, we got seedless raspberry preserve, sugar, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce. Try saying that three times the same way. <laughs> Garlic powder, salt, apple cider vinegar, and horseradish. Mmm, let's get these frightening ingredients together. I'm gonna start with the raspberry cocktail sauce. Just dump all the ingredients together and blend until smooth. This sauce is going to add a deadly kick to our shrimp. <laughs> Let's pop it into the fridge to chill. Then we combine the water, coconut cream, salt, and lime juice in a pot and bring it to a boil. Then we add the shrimp and boil those until they're cooked through. Ah, five, seven minutes, you tell me. Cook these bad boys and then cool them down in the fridge or the freezer because you want them nice and cold come serving time. All right, now for the fun part. You can keep the sauce on the side or, or pour it directly into your serving dish and hang the shrimp around the rim of a coupe or cocktail glass or just pile them up on a plate. They're gonna be good however you do it. 
Garnish with some shredded lettuce if you're feeling fancy. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot, jump! Ah, daylight come and me wanna go home. Time to dig in! Let's see how this haunted cocktail tastes, hmm? is to die for of diabetes Ooh, they got they got the tang from the lime and the raspberry they they got the bite from the horseradish they got the creaminess of the coconut but for a crusty guy like me that a sauce is just too sweet mm. no worries though i'll just add a buttload of tabasco and call it a day <laughs> well that's it for today ghouls and ghosts Daylight come and me want to go home. Remember, never trust the living. <laughs> something, something, right banana.